Oh, hi. Oh, that's right. We're talking about relative values, aren't we? All right. So we covered absolute units like pixel. And uh, we also covered some relative units like percentage. Now it's time to talk about another super important relative unit, EM. EM is mostly used to size uh, text. Sizing your font is absolutely crucial in having a good looking page. It's one of the most important aspects of UI design, typography. I mentioned default browser styles a couple of videos ago. So uh, let's look at H1 and Chrome. H1 has this weird font size value of 2EM. That line is the reason why H1 is so big without you writing any CSS. But what is EM? EM is another relative unit of measurement similar to percentage. EM always has a number in front of it, like 2EM, 3EM, 0.5EM. Font size 2EM means, hey, what is my expected font size if I didn't have any CSS? I want my size to be twice as big. So what is my expected font size? Font size is usually inherited from the parent. So say I have a font size 12 pixels on the body tag and I have a direct H1 child inside it with font size 2EM, that will make the H1 size automatically 24 pixels, double its parent because it's 2EM. So it's almost like the H1 is listening directly to its parent. 3EM, three times or 1EM is actually the same size as my parent. You can even do decimal points like 0.5, half, 50%. 0.2 is 20%. This is useful because you can set the font size of the body to whatever you want and all those children that have their sizing in EM will listen to that uh, and resize immediately. This way you don't have to specify how many pixels for every single child. You define it once on the body and everybody else will just resize themselves. Except there's one problem and it's a big problem. It's like 5 EM big. <laughs> EM inherits from the direct parent, not from the body. In our example, we are lucky because the H1 is directly on the body itself. But if you have children inside children, they're going to affect each other's size. Say you have a P tag with an A tag inside it and the body font size is 20 pixels. If the P tag is 2 EM, that makes it 40 pixels. And my A tag is 3 EM, that makes the A three times as big as the P. So 40 times three, 120 PX. That's crazy. This can get really confusing really fast. I don't like it. I know a bunch of you are gonna get mad because you disagree and that's okay. You can start your own color code on YouTube and call it color code and uh, make your own videos and disagree. <laughs> Back to EM, in real world applications, you have several layers of elements inside one another. You don't have everything just directly on their body. So it becomes really difficult to find out how big something is if you use relative values and have to keep going up the chain of parents and calculate what is 0.7 EM of 2 EM of 0.5 EM of 14 pixels. That's just nuts. Lucky for us, there is a solution. And it, this is a solution that I personally like a lot. It's not perfect, but it covers 95% of what I need. And that is REM, root EM, whatever EM stands for. I probably should have Googled that, ha ha ha, I did. And I just couldn't find a satisfactory answer. I even asked JR and I don't think he, he even knew. So, ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, REM is exactly the same as EM, except it's not relative to uh, the inherited font size from the parent. It's relative to the root element, your beloved HTML tag. Hello, hello, Mr. HTML. <laughs> hello, Mr. HTML. Good to see you again. Remember that guy? This means you can give your HTML element a size, say 14 pixels, and any element inside your page anywhere, regardless of who their parent is, given an REM font size, will then resize relative to the 14 pixels. This is, in my opinion, the cleanest way to specify font size, have it be easy to read and find out who is, how big and still be flexible like yeah. So I think it's time for a demo. I just gave you a lot of information. So let's go back to our profile page. Which side is it? I don't even know. This is all fake anyway. 
And let's go clean up uh, some of the sizes using both absolute and relative units. So I will see you there. Hello, hello, Mr. HTML. Where's JR these days?